You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle and online at kexp.org. And so excited to have Kithkin live in studio. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thanks. We were just talking about the last time that you played for KEXP. Well, actually, you played at our Iceland Airwaves Reykjavik Calling event last October. But about a year ago, now you played in Red Square live on the air in the pouring cold rain. And it was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> was one of the highlights of the day, but we didn't get to talk then, and so I'd love to hear a couple of songs. I hear you've got some new ones, and then we'll see what you've been up to. Sound good? Yes, yeah, sounds awesome. good. All right, take it away. It's Kithkin live on KEXP. <laughs> I'm out of breath just from watching you guys. You have a new album coming out called Rituals, Trances, and Ecstasies for Humans in the Face of the Collapse. That's a lot to live up to, and you certainly do that. <laughs> Want to play another song? Yeah. Yes. Two times 
the always amazing Kithkin live on KEXP playing songs from the upcoming new album Rituals, Trances, and Ecstasies for Humans in the Face of the Collapse. I'm very impressed. You're even laughing. I'm impressed <laughs> that I can get that out. I was going to make one of you say the title of the album, but I decided to give it a try since you're working so you hard. Got it. <laughs> you sound amazing. I have had the great pleasure to see you perform in so many different kinds of venues at Numos, where you are performing tomorrow night. And as we mentioned, I've seen you you outside in a festival type setting a small festival and I've seen you in a record store in Reykjavik Iceland and you always bring in 100% in fact I saw you a couple years ago at the Neptune you played with Los Campesinos oh, and they yeah. kind of chided the audience for, <laughs> for sort of having a bigger response to your opening set they're like you're not supposed to we scream so loud for the opening set. <laughs> it's fine we talked a lot about comic books backstage after and we smoothed it all over <laughs> But you just really are an exquisite live band, and you do a wonderful job translating that onto record. And a lot of bands that have a dynamic sound like you do live don't always as successfully create that song on the record. I loved your EP, Takers and Leavers, and I know your new album doesn't come out until next month, but thank you for sharing an early copy with me. But what do you do in the studio that, that creates that magic? Um, Alex played a solo with Dave Matthews' Lava Lamp. I think that <laughs> probably has to do with a lot of it. Yeah. Mystery solved. <laughs> uh, we did all like the basic stuff live together at once, so yeah, it it's wasn't like room. one at a time to a click. Yeah. We got to like have fun together while we recorded. And which our, was awesome. our producer Sean Simmons was incredible. Um, he's a local recording. I guess engineer he's phenomenal and he had a lot of great ideas about what to do with our live translating alive into recorded and i think he did a phenomenal job see you dude <laughs> My bass drum split I need all right we, <laughs> we'll kill some time while you uh, <laughs> fix your drum speaking of which i love it um before the in studios we have a volunteer who puts down the name of all of the artists and what they play and it's like alex guitar and drums kelton is on bass and drums and bob who's doing the keys over there and noise and drums and then ian on drums i mean <laughs> drums are clearly um at the heart of what you do but there's so much more but it makes me wonder I first saw the band as I said a couple years ago for the first time and what was your first show or your first shows like did you have the oh, same yeah. kind of sound and when was that uh, it was definitely the noise was still that was a big yeah. part of it was it <laughs> was it at Seattle you and the, yeah, the was on, was room? on campus yeah um, that's where you all met right yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we're all Seattle you alums how, how long ago did the band get together Oof. Like three years ago. Over three years, yeah. 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 So we started as a house party band, and we would just play college shows. And then people told us that it was actually good, <laughs> and we started playing real shows. And I guess it just worked out for us. It did, like, sound off was a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sound off, too. That was great. We've actually talked a lot recently about how much we want to get back to doing that kind of, like, house show, sort of more intimate thing, just because it's, like, it's fun. Like, we love playing big places, but it's also fun to be, like, two feet in front of the people you're playing with, and they're just as sweaty as you are. So. People would love to have you come to their house and play a party, I'm sure. We will, we will play your house. Email us. <laughs> okay, wow. Well. Um, it was so fun to spend time with you in Iceland. That was such a magical little journey, and you really had quite an adventure. You got paired up for a Reykjavik calling here in Seattle with Sindri from Sinfang, who's just the most amazing musician. And then when you went to Iceland, you guys sort of had a, a really exquisite time with him. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he let us come on stage for his like sold out opera house show. We got to play drums with him at the end. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. Yep. I, like, I grew up listening to him and like uh, his wife is an artist and I had her like art as my background on my computer when I was younger and named the uh, my high school band after this art piece she did so it was cool to meet him and be like whoa you're a real person mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a big deal over there and even outside of Iceland. And I felt when I would see you around town with him, I thought, how fun that he's your ambassador. And yeah. he really, really digs <laughs> yeah. the band. Yeah, he was, he was awesome. He drove us around a lot, too, which was great. And it was really nice to know someone there. It was a little bit less nerve-wracking, I think. Well, what's coming up for the band? Obviously, um, tell us actually the date the new record comes out. Uh, May 20th. That's exciting. Yeah. And do you have some big plans coming up for the spring and summer? Yeah, mm -hmm. so go for it. So we're going on tour. So t tomorrow, actually, we're playing a show at Nemo's for a music video release. We just got done shooting a video for the song, the first song we played today. 
Um, we got a bunch of, we got 25 of our female friends and we handed them like baseball bats and like scythes and swords and got them <laughs> to beat up this uh, big pile of garbage we collected. It's like one metric ton of trash we measured later. So we got that tomorrow. And then we're going on tour down the West Coast. And then in July, we're playing Sasquatch and going on like a nationwide oh, well, tour. We're playing it in May. But we were supposed our, to play yeah, July. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're playing Sasquatch sometime. Yeah. And then we're touring around this summer. Yeah. Kelton hasn't updated the data in his head. No. <laughs> so he needs to refresh. That is very exciting. It sounds like you've got a great year ahead. And I'm very excited for the new album. And if you're ready, we'll play I'm more music. Go. It's yeah, Kithkin good. live on KEXP.
Absolutely amazing. It's <laughs> Kithkin live on KEXP, the long-awaited full-length debut coming out next month. Great job, and thank you so much thank for you. coming in. Thank you, Thanks, for Thanks for having us. us. You are just so wonderful to see live, and tomorrow night, folks, we see you at Numos, and then lots of opportunities the coming show up. show is also all ages. Oh, yeah, great news. So. Well, uh, great luck and have a ton of fun on the shows coming up through the year, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks. You've got to tune to KEXP Seattle.